I'm going to configure a profile that will allow me to save all the settings I need to connect to a GNSS reference station. Let's start by going to select instrument and the instrument profiles list and add a profile. I'll select reference, my make, in this case is Stonex, my model, in this case is S900T. I can customize the name I want to give or I can leave it with the default. I'll create it. First step is setting up communication. That allows me to do a Bluetooth connection to my receiver. I'll pick on search. Now while it searches, I'm checking on the serial numbers that are on both the base and the rover that I have powered on right now to be sure that I'll connect to the base serial number. So my base serial number ends with the digits 225, so I'll connect to it. There's the audio confirmation that I'm connected. Now that I am connected, I can review some information. If I pick on the information button, this allows me to see what my current position at the base is. I can look at the position in project coordinates in the map projection that I have selected, or geographic coordinates. Notice how I haven't set up the antenna height yet, so my antenna height is zero. Also, if I need to check on technical information about the instrument, I can select Receiver Info, and I can review information such as battery level and firmware version. I'm going to stop in this video, so I'll pick on Done, and it warns me that I'm not finished my setup. That's okay. I'll tell it to cancel, and we can continue the connection later on. I'm connected to a GS, GNSS reference station and I'd like to set up its tolerance. Pick on Setup Tolerance and here I can specify the minimum status for GPS position that we would like the base to filter for. So we're going to tell it to only transmit an RTK connection if it has five or more satellites, if the PDOP is four or less, and the elevation mask, that is the elevation of satellites above the horizon, is no more than 10 degrees in this case. So I'll select OK, and now we've configured our tolerance. We're going to configure the antenna height for a GNSS reference receiver. So you can select the model of the antenna. In this case, there's only one to work with, but you'll notice that if you have a non-standard model, you've always got the option of performing user-defined. I'll go with the S900T. And you'll also notice under measure point, you've got the option of selecting two different choices. If I measure to the bottom of the antenna mount, then it'll apply the appropriate offsets. Or if I wish to use a slant measurement, then you notice how the offsets are changed. These are things that you can also configure in a user-defined profile if you wish. You can manually input those values. What I'll do is I'll select bottom of antenna mount, and then I'm going to perform my measurement. the value in centimeters or in your project units. Select OK. And now if I go back in and I check my current information about my position you'll notice how the antenna height is updated and it's recording an accurate but uncorrected elevation.
We're going to go through setting up our reference position using the measure option. I'll select set up reference position, switching over to observe, and here you can see that we've got information about our current position. It's an autonomous position, and I can pick on the start button to start measuring and averaging a position. I'm going to let it go to about 20 seconds and then I'll stop it and we'll set that as our starting point. There we go, pick stop. And you notice how we've got the option of restarting, but if I'm satisfied with the position that I've measured, I select done. Now let's store this point. I'll assign a point number and a description. And I'm going to set it as a control point, and I'll pick on Save. There. Now we've set the position from which the receiver will be transmitting its corrections. We're now going to set up corrections so we can configure the GNSS receiver so that it will transmit an RTK signal over, in this case, a UHF radio signal. First step is to set up communication, where I can identify I'm using the UHF radio module. Here I can specify whether it's an internal or an external radio, in this case internal is my only choice. I can go into radio settings to configure specifics about how the radio is going to be configured. So here we can set the protocol, the channel spacing, transmission power, and the channel. The options that you see will vary from radio model to radio model, and of course it's important to ensure that the settings you set here in the reference receiver are going to match in the rover receiver later on. I'll pick apply to make those settings so. Now I can pick done. Final step, I'm going to choose a format. And the base station ID is an optional feature if you're on a job site where you have multiple reference receivers and you want to make sure that you only listen to one, then you assign a base station ID to your station. In this case, I'm just going to set it as zero and pick done. Final step, start transmitting. There we go. And when I pick on done, Bluetooth will disconnect and we'll be able to connect to a rover.